Hi everybody, I'm Mike. This is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews and today I'm going to make a leather pocket holster for my Taurus PT-111 G2. Stick around. Maybe we'll learn something together. Before we go any further, the obligatory safety check. Let me show you this is an unloaded weapon. You see the follower in there. This is not loaded in any way, shape, or form. Empty magazine. Any holster that you have has to serve two functions. It has to protect the weapon from skin oils, salt, sweat, etc. And it has to cover your trigger guard for safety reasons. <clears throat> I would add that uh, a pocket holster also has to break up the outline of the weapon. Uh, you know, this uh, Uncle Mike's pocket holster works perfectly fine to do that. Uh, except with this larger pistol, you can kind of see the... Uh, the grip of the handgun sticking out a little bit while it's in your pocket. I mean, if you know what you're looking at, you'll know what you're looking at. Um, so what I want to do is uh, make a leather holster, leather pocket holster, that's going to break the outline up a little more. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit wider, so it just looks like I have something bigger in my pocket. And then I think that'll kind of serve to hide the... Uh, the pistol grip a bit. So I'm going to start with this Uncle Mike's holster as kind of a pattern and go from there. So what I need to do is extend this out just a little bit. kind of make a little extension there. So what I did was take this basic pattern and extended it out into this hook area. And that's exactly what it's going to do first off is create a hook so that it makes unholstering in the pocket a lot easier. This hook will catch on the pocket, the holster will stay in the pocket while the weapon comes out. Number two, while it's in the pocket, it'll serve to expand this outline and kind of help camouflage this pistol grip. So now what I have to do is clean it up, make sure it's straight, which I'll use my handy dandy square to do. And then flip it over, make it a mirror image. I'll go ahead and do that and come back. Now it's time to transfer the paper pattern to the leather. Use the split leather to make the welt from. So let's put down a cut sacrificial board and cut this out. I'm gonna use my Gerber suspension to do that. The next step is to put the lines in for the glue, then glue and clamp it, wait for it to dry. So what I'll do is I'll put glue there, glue there, glue there, put it on, glue there, hold it over, clamp it, and wait for it to dry. Now that I have it glued together, I went ahead and used my belt sander and sanded the edges smooth. I'm going to use a tool called an edge. I'm going to use a tool called an edge beveler now 
to round the, the edges off, gives it a smoother, better appearance, and it makes it less likely that the leather is going to rip. Checking the fit, it looks like it fits in here just perfect. With a normal holster, an outside the waistband, or even an inside the waistband, I would uh, wet the leather and use the different tools to press down on it to form the leather directly to the gun. But I don't have to do that with a pocket holster because you don't need all that wet forming and, and whatnot to uh, create good retention because it's in your pocket. Also, again, part of the purpose of a pocket holster is to break up the outline. I certainly don't want to mold fine details into this to make it more likely that the outline of the gun is apparent. So this is all the further I'm gonna take that. Now, I just need to mark my stitch lines, groove them, and stitch. And here we have it after stitching. So, now I need to dye it and slick the edges, and then it'll be done. I'm gonna be using Fibing's Dark Brown Leather Dye on this. Uh, when I dye leather, particularly when I'm using Fibing's dye, I mean, with a oil-based dye, it may be different, but with this dye, I get better results when I dampen the leather first. Make sure that you're on a sur surface that you don't care about in case you do something like that. As I was saying, make sure you have your work on a uh, sacrificial surface just in case. When you're applying the dye, go in circles, overlapping circles. That way you're a lot less likely to streak and be blotchy. Go over a given area a couple times. Understand that unless you're wearing gloves, you're going to get dye on you and your skin will be whatever color you're dyeing your piece because, well, hey, leather is skin, isn't it? So it'll dye your skin too. It'll wear off in a few days. I don't worry about it. But if you're more fastidious than I am, wear some gloves. Make sure you get your edges. I like to get down inside as well. And here we have the finished holster. It's dyed, it's been sealed, the edges have been slicked. It's ready to go. I'm Mike, this is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. That was my look at making a holster for the pocket holster for the P Taurus PT-111 G2. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you really like what you saw, please consider being a budget buddy on Patreon. Um, until then, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together. What you, what you want, what you want.